What's going on everybody? I'm back with another High Limit Coin Busher video for you all today. And in today's video, we're going to be doing a $5 million buy-in. And they gave us 2,000 quarters to get started today. A pretty expensive game, so wish me the best of luck. Hopefully we can walk out of here with millions of dollars in profit. They got this machine loaded up super, super well today. Let's see, they got probably the world's biggest wall of poker chips and golden cash in there. I don't know if y'all can see the $100 bills too well, but it's right there in the center. Up above that gold right there. So, yeah, it's a really, really unique wall if you ask me. I've never seen one like this before, so... Yeah, hopefully we can get it to crash down. The bottom layer, those are all $10,000 chips. The middle layer, those are all $5,000 chips. And uh, the top layer is one ounce gold bars, and it has a stack of $100 bills on it as well. So, And uh, they also got two more stacks of $100 bills like on the edges of the blue shelves there up front. So we might be able to win those later on. We'll see. And uh, they also got a humongous tower of gold on the pusher back there. It's enormously tall. So I'm assuming once that big old tower falls down, it's going to completely demolish this great big old wall up front. And uh, they also got, looks like, three of the dollar sign money mystery bags in there today. I can see behind the great big old wall. I know you all probably can't see too well, but I can see it from where I'm standing at. Oh no, I just dropped a bunch of quarters on the floor. I'll pick them up here shortly. So uh, before this great big old wall falls down, uh, let me know how long you think this wall is going to stand up down in the comments section. Let me know how long before this wall is going to fall down. I'm going to guess at least probably 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. That's how long it's going to hang on there for. I mean, as you can see, the base of that wall is already sliding out from underneath of it. That is a super, super good sign right there that it's about to go. Yeah, we're about to start winning some of them $10,000 chips. Matter of fact, oh yeah, there we go. Starting to get some of them. All right, well, this has been a pretty good game so far today. It looks pretty promising, if you ask me. Sure does seem like we're going to be able to make that $5 million back, so... I mean, we technically need to make more than that. Uh, I played one other game before this one today, and we lost uh, $15 million, unfortunately. That's why this video right here is going to be coming out a little bit later than normal, is because the first game I played wasn't good enough to post, so... And I don't post the losing videos, just so you know. I used to, but I don't do that anymore. So I'm trying to find like the best video of the day to post. Yeah, I would have had a video on here today by about 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but uh, unfortunately that first game I played was a losing game. And sometimes I'll be here all day long trying to find like the best video of the day to post. And I do this for you all. I try to make the most entertaining content out there. That means posting the winning videos every single day. And a lot of times I'll have to play like at least four or five games before I even get like one winning video. So, yeah, that right there just goes to show you how hard these games actually are. Very, very difficult to win at the majority of the time. And uh, most of the time, like, I know it looks like I'm winning hundreds of millions daily, but trust me, I have to lose probably 500 million just to win a hundred million dollars off of one of these so every time you see a big win just know I lost like two or three times that before I got that big win and for the year right now I think we're down roughly oh I'm gonna say 650 million for the year so we really need to make that 650 million dollars back I mean, we've still got a long time before this year's out, so... Yeah, we're only three months into this year right here. Alright, well, it looks like the majority of that wall has, like, slid out from under the base of it on the right-hand side. Not really moving over there on the left-hand side, so I think we need that big old golden tower to crash down. 
I'm going to go ahead and load this thing up with quarters using the skill stop. That will more than likely get that gold tower to fall down. We can get a large base of quarters stacked up behind it. The whole entire golden tower is just going to fall down. It's going to be amazing, I can already tell you. Or maybe the wall is just too strong and whenever the golden tower falls down, the golden tower might end up like falling backwards. I mean, but still regardless, all that gold when it falls off the pressure, it's more than likely going to get all these $10,000 chips to slide out from underneath of the wall. So anyway, let's see what that does. That was roughly 500 quarters at once. So let's see. Oh no, well a lot of them got stuck back there. They're breaking free though. I ain't too worried about it. So uh, do y'all think this big old wall is going to fall backwards or is it going to fall forward? Well, it's leaning backwards at the moment, but uh, you never know because whenever that big old golden tower falls down, it might like fall straight forward and destroy that big old wall of chips and gold. I've seen that happen many a time, so let's see. We're still doing good on quarters. Oh my goodness, there it goes. There goes the golden tower. Oh my goodness, wow. Nice, there it goes. Let's get that loot sheet cleared out. Oh my goodness, you talk about the world's biggest avalanche. There it was right there out of all the high limit coin pusher games I've played. This one right here definitely paid out the biggest avalanche of chips and gold and quarters. That was absolutely amazing. Hands down the best avalanche I've ever seen. It was infinite. Wow. So yeah, be sure you leave a like on the video if you enjoyed that. If you want to see an avalanche like that every single day, seven days a week, uh, be sure you hit the like button. Not only hit the like button, but also subscribe to the channel and enable the post bell notifications. That way these videos will uh, pop up on your phone every single day whenever I post a brand new video. So anyway, let me know what you all thought about that outstanding avalanche. Was it the biggest one yet? I'm going to say it was. I mean, I didn't really get to see any of it fall off of the edge because I was down there making sure that loot chute was cleared out at all times. But the chips and the gold was just like raining out of there. It was like non-stop for probably gonna say at least 10 or 15 seconds. So anyway, I grabbed some quarters out of that loot chute just to keep the game going. I haven't uh, counted up any of the gold or the chips that we've won yet, but I will here soon though. I'll let y'all know where we're standing at at the moment. Oh my goodness, you know something I just now realized? I think those Mr. Bags are brand new. We can call those the, the baby dollar sign money Mr. Bags because this was the large one right here. Just compare the two. That Those are like a lot smaller. Well, I'll show them to you after we win them later on. And yeah, they got decent amount of stuff on the blue shelves today there's tons of uh twenty-five thousand dollar chips way back there those are humongous towers and they also got some golden towers with five and ten thousand dollar chips stacked on top of them and oh my goodness they also got two of the white dots in there do you see them they're like right there on the edges of those towers so if we win those we'll get to roll them at the end of this game and whatever they land on my uh, winnings will multiply by those numbers, so that means the cash will multiply by whatever they land on. And also the chips will multiply by whatever they land on. So yeah, those white dice are probably more valuable than everything in the machine. But without the chips, the dice wouldn't really do anything. Because you have to have a decent amount of money to multiply, you know what I'm saying? So anyhow, let's go ahead and open up this mystery bag. Oh wait, we got another wave of quarters. 
Wow, look at that. We got it all cleared out of there already. That is insane. The whole entire play field is nothing but quarters now. That is incredible right there. All right, well, let's go ahead and check out this mystery bag right here. Oh, yeah, jackpot, baby. We got four of the $1 chips today. Each one of these is 500 extra quarters. So we get to turn all four of these in. They'll give me 2,000 more quarters. That should give us enough quarters to keep the game going for a while. And uh, the $5 chip, this is perfect right here. We get to turn this in. They'll put all that stuff that's on the blue shelves into the play field. Like literally everything, even the cash that was on there and the chips that we lost. All that stuff they'll put it in here. So anyway, I'm going to get that loose shoe cleared out. And then I'm going to turn in the $5 chip and the $1 chips. And uh, we'll be right back. Alrighty, AMV coin pressure sure has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in the $5 chip and the four $1 chips. They gave me 2,000 extra quarters. And they took all them ginormous towers and all that cash and the mystery bags that was on the side tables. And they put it all into the playing field. Most of the towers are on the pusher back there. Or let's just say all the gold and the poker chips are anyway. And uh, the cash is like right here. And there's two of those mystery bags on the edge. Yeah, those are definitely smaller than the ginormous money mystery bags. So, hey, they got something new in there today. Hopefully those mystery bags are loaded up pretty good. Yeah, I will actually compare the large mystery bag with one of those smaller ones after we win it. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Did you see that? Well, we got some of the towers on the right side to go. But uh, that big old tower, $25,000 chips fell, and it lost a $25,000 chip. It rolled like over here on the left blue shelf and then landed right there again. That was insane. I don't think that's ever happened before. And this has definitely been a pretty interesting game today, that's for sure. Oh my goodness, well... I wasn't really paying attention, but uh, I know there was two of the white dice back there. I see one of them way back there on the pusher. It's like in the middle or the right side of the pusher, technically. But I don't know where the other one went. Let me check the loot chute real quick. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to look here in just a second. Anyway, we're about to get all that cash right there in the center, though. And we done got one of those small mystery bags out of there, so we'll check that thing out here shortly. So stay tuned for that. Oh yeah, nice. There we go. Check that out. Oh, there was the dice. I just seen it fall out of there. Wow, that is awesome. All right, so here's what that little mystery bag looks like. Yeah, it definitely feels like it has some weight to it. So we'll check it out here in just a minute. We'll see if there's any nice and valuable items in there. Let's try to push all these 25 and... 10,000 and 5,000 chips out of there first. It's mainly all $25,000 chips because there was two ginormous tall towers of $25,000 chips on there today. Oh yeah, that dice is on the edge. Check that out. That's like millions of dollars right there on its own. Nice. There we go. Well, let's just say it's going to turn the chips into millions, if not hundreds of millions. And we just got that, so... Yeah, we're doing brilliantly well today on this game. Yeah, if this video can somehow get to 15,000 likes within one day of it being uploaded to YouTube, tomorrow I will try $100 million buy-in with a one-quarter challenge or a ten-quarter challenge, whatever they want to do. Uh, sometimes they'll be like, well, I'll give you ten quarters for a hundred million dollars or you can do a hundred million dollar buying for a one quarter challenge I'm going to try to do a one quarter challenge with it if we can get to that 15,000 likes in a day but that's just how I will reward you all for hitting that like button now the more support these videos get the better the content is the next day so that's how that works and it don't cost any money to like the video or subscribe to the channel it's all just beneficial for you all helps you all keep up with the future content and I'm posting videos every day and I plan to post videos every day for the next like at least 10 years if I'm still getting good views by that time then I guess I'll still be making videos every single day so I might be doing this another 50 or 100 years, you never know.
Now there's definitely a lot of money piled up on that left hand side there. And it's all because of this mystery bag being stuck right here. So I'll tell you what, should we go ahead and open up this little mystery bag right here? I've been holding it in my hand for a couple minutes now. Let's see, do y'all want a sneak peek of what's in there? You see anything nice and valuable? All right, let's check it out and see what we got. Feels like it's loaded up real good. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. I think this is the 5,000 slash 10,000 chip indeed it is. So if you don't know what this is for, we get to turn this in. They'll put a bunch more towers in the play field made out of five and ten thousand dollar chips. That is awesome. Awesome sauce right there. And uh, check this out. We got two more one dollar chips. So that's another thousand quarters. You can't beat that. And uh, let's see. We got three of the white dice. Those multiply our winnings by whatever they land on. We got three gold dice. That'll multiply our gold by whatever those land on. And we got one silver dice. So that will multiply our quarters, which is amazing. So anyhow, should we go ahead and call them back here to see if they can like rearrange this right here? Because it is all piled up against the glass. So yeah, let's do that and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called the staff back here and they reset the machine. Yeah, they'll do that if something is stuck against the glass. And they ended up putting that mystery bag on the pusher, as you can see. And uh, they put all those $25,000 chips in the center, technically, so... Yeah, wish me the best of luck. Hopefully we can win all this out of here real quick. And then uh, I'll open up that Mr. Bag right there after we win it. Oh, I was going to uh, compare the two Mr. Bags. Hold on, let me load up a whole bunch of quarters so... We can get a couple good pushes while I'm showing you all uh, the two Mr. Bags. Yeah, they're a lot different. I know a lot of people might try to say that it's the exact same thing, but one's a lot larger than the other one. So I was just going to uh, compare them real quick for you all. Well, actually, there's one major detail on the mystery bags. I'll show you all in just one second. One more handful of quarters. All right, there we go. All right, so... Uh, this the smaller mystery bag only has one line going through the dollar and the larger one has two lines going through it so yeah these small ones are brand new i'm so happy they put those in there yeah it's always nice to see something new in there from time to time i guess it just keeps the game a lot more interesting and stuff oh nice we got the mystery bag perfect so we got it all cleared out of there that is awesome. So let's check out that mystery bag right quick. All right, I'm back. Here's that mystery bag. Let's go ahead and open it up, see if there's any nice and valuable prizes in there. Now this one feels super, super heavy. Y'all want a little sneak peek of what's in there? I'm not looking at it just yet, just letting you all get a glimpse of what's in there. So let's check it out and see what we got. Oh my goodness, this is insane. Check this out. So we got the dark blue earbud. I haven't seen this in here in a couple weeks. This is worth a cash only bonus game. I get to turn this in to load the whole entire machine up with cash. That is incredible right there. And we got the Mr. Money keychain. This could be worth a dollar all the way up to a billion dollars. That is exciting. And uh, let's see, we got three more of the one dollar chips. That's another 1500 quarters, I'll take it. And uh, we got four more of the white dice. Holy smokes, that is awesome. So yeah, four more white dice, two more golden dice, and one more silver dice. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a massive win today, if not a brand new record win. So let's see, should we go ahead and turn in that 5,000 slash 10,000 chip first? That would come with a free reset, which means they put that back in here. And uh, plus, if we do end up losing any of the chips to the blue shelves on the 5,000 slash 10,000 dollar chip round, they'll automatically put that back in there whenever I turn in the dark blue earbuds. So... Yeah, I think it's a good idea to turn in the 5,000 slash 10,000 chip first. So let's do that and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that 5,000 slash 10,000 chip and all five of them $1 chips. They gave me 2,500 extra quarters. And uh, looks like they built four humongous towers of $5,000 and $10,000 chips in there. And uh, it looks like one of them already like fell over, the one that was over there on the right side. So, uh, I mean, that's fine with me as long as we can win all that stuff out of there. That's my main concern at the moment. And it looks like they made them into like uh, 
zigzag or like twisty towers or something like that. Don't typically see towers like that in there anymore, so it's always nice to see something a little bit different. Well, we're definitely winning a whole bunch of $10,000 chips off of that right side there. It's raining out of there pretty consistently. Yeah, but uh, unfortunately we did not win that $50 chip today. That means uh, everything that has fallen down in these side slots on the left and the right, all that money will go to the owner and there's not any way I could get a second chance of winning that on today's game. So say we were to lose a dice or something down through there, it'd be gone forever on this game right here. So and anyway, luckily we got those two dice that was in there. The ones that was on those uh, golden and poker chip towers. Y'all know the ones I'm talking about, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we done got both of those, and there's no more dice in there. Yeah, and I think we won like nine of the uh, white dice in total now, so that's pretty good. Nine white dice. That's definitely going to give us a massive win on this game for sure. So let's see, should we load up the quarters pretty high back there? To try to get this humongous tower of $10,000 chips. Yeah, I feel like that's a marvelous idea. I'm going to put all these quarters in there at one time. Are you ready for this? All right, well, that was about half of them. Let's keep it going. All right, there we go. That the tower is on the edge of the pusher right there. Come on. Nice, there we go. It's going any second now. You see that? Oh, yeah, big money. Come on, big push. There it goes. Oh, yeah, jackpot, baby. We scored huge on that one. That was awesome. Oh, my goodness. Wow, that was the mega money jackpot right there, baby. Wow, this is hands down one of the best games I've played this week. And also, if you haven't checked out yesterday's video, I highly suggest you go do that after you're through watching this video right here. Uh, let's see, yesterday's video was a humongous castle made out of $10,000 chips and $25,000 chips. Let's just say uh, it was over a billion dollar win yesterday, so... You really, really want to go check out that video after you're through watching this one. Matter of fact, that video will actually pop up on the very end screen of this video right here. There'll be like a little box that pops up in the bottom left of the screen. You can just click on it and that will take you right to my brand new video. So don't miss that. And that video is absolutely amazing. Alright, so we got all the $10,000 chips out of there. The only tower we need to win now is this big old like zigzag tower, $5,000 chips. Just move forward a little bit. And if we don't get this tower to go by the time I run out of quarters on this round, I will go ahead and turn in the dark blue earbud. Because uh, that would come with a free reset, which means they would reset this tower. So, And I'm not going to give up just yet. I think this tower definitely still has potential, so. All right, let's see what that does. That was a whole entire basket of quarters at once right there, you all. Oh yeah, move that tower forward a little bit. You see that? If we could just get it to like fall either to the side or fall backwards, that's when we could just push all those $5,000 chips out of there super easily. Yeah, I don't know. I think we'd be better off going ahead and cashing in that blue earbud. They'll load the whole entire machine up with cash and they'll probably rearrange this tower. It's going to take a while to get it to go. Plus, we're technically out of quarters now anyhow. So, 
Let's go ahead and turn in that blue earbud and we'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that dark blue earbud and they loaded the whole entire machine up with cash. Look at all that money that is in there. And I probably know what you're thinking. I mean, I know this is not like going to make our $5 million back or nothing like that. I'd say at best there might be five grand in cash in there. And even that's being generous. So anyway, I'd say might have the potential to make a couple thousand off of this. But it, this right here is still a extremely fun game to play. And uh, the majority of you all down in the comments section said you all enjoyed this cash only bonus game. So and anyhow, on top of loading the whole entire machine up with cash, they also rearranged that tower that was on the left there. They put it right there in the center of the play field, so that should be much easier to win now, hopefully. So, uh, how's the weather been where everybody's at? Uh, where I'm at today, it's pretty rainy and cloudy outside. So there's really nothing much I can do out there where I'm at today so I hope the weather's been really really nice where you all are at and if not just uh, just know that the weather is going to get better here soon we just got to make it through March and a little bit of April I guess and then it'll start warming up see whenever the weather goes from like hot to cold and then back to hot then back to cold it always messes with my allergies and my sinuses and stuff like that just makes me feel a little bit bad Oh, nice. Well, we got the huge tower in the middle to fall down already. That's pretty nice. Yeah, because it's... The warm weather can be pretty deceiving at times, especially around this time of year, because, like, it might warm up to 70 or 75 degrees for a day or two, and then, boom, there we go. We're back to, uh, like, 30, 40, 50 degree weather, pretty cold weather, and it can be pretty upsetting. But uh, I just learned to enjoy every day for what it is and don't wish it would be another day. I always just try to enjoy each day for what it is, you know. Because we can't control the weather. Well, anyway, this big old stack of cash or roll of cash, whatever it is, got stuck on the edge on the left side of here. Yeah, I'm really, really hoping we can get that to go. If not, I can just call them back here. They will either count it as a win or rearrange it for me. So, Oh, nice. There we go. We got it. That is spectacular. So now let's push that last $100 bill out of there over there on the right side. Yeah, and after we win that, we'll have the whole entire machine cleared out today. And uh, the last item that's in there is typically the most stubborn to win. Be like the last chip, the last a dollar bill, the last gold bar, it's typically the most stubborn to win out of there. So, uh, yeah, let's just keep on loading up a whole bunch of quarters over there on that right corner. See what happens. Should give us a nice push here soon. Oh yeah, well, just move forward a little bit there. And we just need the quarters underneath of that cash to fall down. We should get it to go. Well, we're just definitely being pretty stubborn at the moment. We're going to get it, though. We're not going to give up until we get it all cleared out of there. Oh, nice. There we go. It's leaning over the edge now. Do you see that? Wow, that is amazing. We're going to get it eventually. It's only a matter of time. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, this push right here might get it or the next one. We'll see. Oh my goodness. Well, it fell down, but we just need some quarters to fall down and hit it or something. Well, this is definitely probably the most stubborn uh, last item I've ever played to get before. Oh 
Oh my goodness. Well, we just need that quarter that's underneath it to fall down, I'm pretty sure. Nice, there it goes. We finally got it all cleared out of there. Holy smokes. That took a lot longer than anticipated to win that, but that's all right, though. This has been an excellent game today. Absolutely excellent. So now I'm going to go ahead and call them back here. I think we have won 16 dice in total. We got nine of the white dice, uh, five of the golden dice, and two silver dice. They'll put all 16 of them dice on the pressure, and we got to roll them on out to that lower shelf. Whatever they all land on, we're going to get to multiply our winnings in their golden quarters by those numbers. So let's call them back here, and we'll get right back to pushing. All righty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. So this right here is where the magic is about to happen. You're about to see all those gold bars that we won, all the chips and cash and quarters get multiplied by a whole bunch, potentially. I really, really hope those dice land on some good numbers. Well, the two white dice are doing amazing so far. Oh my goodness, wow. A lot of those dice landed on some fabulous numbers, and then again, some of them landed on ones. We might be able to flip that one on the right side over to a three right there. You see it? It's trying to. That would be amazing. Oh, nice. I think they would count that as a three right there. All right, well, we got two more dice to roll. Oh, nice. We got a four. I'll take a four. That's pretty good. All right, well, we definitely flip that dice over to a three. We'll definitely count that one as a three. And that one landed on a three as well. So not bad, not bad at all. The dice totaled up to some outstanding numbers. So I'm going to count everything up. I'll multiply our winning center gold and a quarters by all that. And I'll let y'all know how much money we have made today from a $5 million buy-in. We'll be right back. You all are not going to believe how much money I've won today. This is absolutely amazing. I ended up winning $18,629,775. That is the chips, the cash, and that mystery money keychain all put together. And also, I forgot to tell y'all what that uh, money keychain was worth. It was only worth $100 today, unfortunately. But still, let's look at the more positive side. That is much better than the $1 it could have been worth. So anyway, the white dice today totaled up to 33 so I'm going to get to multiply my winnings by 33 and in total, I ended up winning $614,782,575 from a $5 million buy-in. That is just insane right there. Holy cow, that is a ginormous, humongous, life-changing jackpot win today. That was unexpected right there. Oh my goodness, I am blown away right now. I was not expecting to make anywhere near that amount of money, especially from only a $5 million buy-in. Wow, we hit the mega money jackpot on this game today. No doubt about that whatsoever. And it doesn't end there. We also won 237 ounces of gold, and the gold dice totaled up to 20, so I'm going to get to multiply the gold by 20. And in total, I ended up winning 4,740 ounces of gold today. The spot price of gold is 2,160 an ounce, so that means we got $10,238,400 in gold. So I just doubled my buy-in just with the gold bars alone. That is insane right there. Holy guacamole. That is a massive win for the gold today indeed. And last but not least, I ended up winning 2,876 quarters. And uh, the silver dice totaled up to six. So I'm going to get to multiply the quarters by six. And in total, I ended up winning 17,000. 256 quarters today so let's go ahead and divide that by four to get the dollar amount it means we got four thousand three hundred and fourteen dollars in quarters today that is absolutely amazing right there so anyhow that right there is not bad not bad at all for a five million dollar buy-in so if y'all enjoyed today's episode uh, be sure you drop a like on the video and hit that subscribe button and turn on the post bell notifications that way you're notified for future videos and also, if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of my videos, that will appear at the bottom right of the screen. And if you want to check out my most recent video, that will appear at the bottom left of the screen. And if you want to check out this amazing video right here, you can click this one on the top left of the screen. And uh, lastly, if you want to subscribe to my channel, you can click that button at the top right of the screen. So with all that being said, I'll see you all on the next video. Y'all take care and have an awesome day.